Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play Nelly Kujalot, a adventure, point and click adventure made back in the day, actually 2007, uh, by one person only, it was very well received and right now the Kickstarter campaign of the sequel uh, is running and you can support this awesome game, make sure to check out the Kickstarter page, the link in the description below, it's really worth it, looks very very funny and the trailer or the Kickstarter trailer is uh, extremely funny too so make sure to check that one out and uh, we will jump right into the game and since there are no dialogues uh, it was a one-man project um, I will read the dialogues for you and be prepared because I cannot talk pirate so let's do this new game Yes, yes, we joined a fearsome pirate, Nelly Kutalot, in the midst of a turbulent sea battle. Let's see about that. This is... it's not a sea battle. Sleeping? Maybe she's having... oh, she's having a sea battle in her dreams. Who are you? Waken, Nelly Kutalot! Nelly? Sleepy time now. Nelly! Avast! Steal yourself before turning to behold the specter of the dreaded Captain Bloodbeard! Da! Truly, many tides have come and gone since I danced the hemp and jig. What? Okay, the hemp and jig. So, this is the fate of us all. But now, Captain Kutalot, I return from the depths of Davy Jones's. Oh, so you do. A brief reprise only to see ye. 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 I think it's ye. Me. Why? My time above the waves grows short, but I tell ye this. <laughs> In life, I was the scourge of the South Seas and champion of all creatures, sweet and defenseless. So? That mantle I now pass on to ye. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Really, what does that mean? Yonder Islands. Be a salty black water called the Barony of Meef, once fam wait, famed for a mighty fleet of saucy birds called Spoonbeaks. Oh yes, we have to defend the Spoonbeaks, something like that. I love Spoonbeaks. For many days now, not a Spoonbeak has been seen in the Isles of Meef. Is it, is it Meef? I think it's Meef. It's not Mev. What? They have vanished, everyone, and that be a terrible omen of ill fortune. Well, all the spoonbeaks are gone. They must be found, and we will find them. Accept ye the quest? Yeah, of course. Aye, aye, Captain Bloodbeard. I'll conjure a ghostly current to carry ye to the shores of Meef. Oh, that's, that's lovely, so I don't have to drive myself. Unravel the mystery, Nelly, and save the Spoonbeaks. Well, that's straightforward, and I will save the Spoonbeaks. I give you these words. Look to the Baron. What? Farewell. Bye. Awesome. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my adventuring corset. Oh, really? Uh, lucky that you dressed up according to the occasion. But you're a pirate. You always should wear one. It's Nelly time. If I want to explore this island, I'll be needing a map. That's that's actually true. So, where would we find a map? There's a cactus and a mighty gully. No, it's not mighty. Cactus. So, how do I interact with the game? Right click. Ooh, I got a spade. Uh, how how do I use items? Let me let me see. Uh, hmm, not really sure. Maybe I can just click. No, right click opens up the inventory. Oh oh, I pull down. Uh, what is this? This is. Digging wildly at random rarely uncovers booty. I've tried it. <laughs> okay, what's this? Look at. I used it for. I used it to dig for treasure, and I want to talk to it. Sup? So, cool. I can talk to uh, my shovel. So cactus. Look at your cactus. No, talk to the cactus. It don't look talkative. Oh, great! I love it when every item in a game is uh, interactable with everything, and there's a different comment to it. Uh, the barnacle. Well, yeah, let's have a look at the barnacle. Tell me something about the barnacle. I don't know. It looks like the silent type. <laughs> okay, go in there. Let's see who's waiting. Captain Rehab. Uh, 
Are you the brother of Captain Ahab? I don't know. Ooh, map, map, map. Take the map. Can I take this map? I didn't know, miss. That map be steeped in nautical history and pirate lore. So, it don't belong in the hands of Landlubber Grockle. Landlubber Grockle? Never heard of that. It says a tourist guide to the barony of me. <laughs> You. Okay, take it. Oh, that was easy. Well, that was actually very easy. Now I can explore the island. That's right, Nelly. Uh, let's have a look at the map, I would say. Map of the Barony. Uh, use it. Oh, sweet. The Barnacle and Harbor. The Barnacle is a tavern brimming with authentic ambience. Winner of the coveted Flea Pit Award. <laughs> uh, a busting commercial venue now with over three shops. Oh my god, three shops! Toll booth. Anyone wishing to visit Salt Island must first pass our traditional toll booth. Okay, I guess this is Salt Island. Anyway, let's stay here for a bit. How do I close it? Right click. Let's talk to Barman Friday. Oh, wait, there's something in the shelf. Welcome to the scurviest pirate bar in the South Seas. Well, well, nothing much going on. Captain Nelly Kujalot at your service. Maybe asking what brings you to the barony of me. When I gotta save the Spoonbeaks. Right? I'm on the Spoonbeak rescue mission. I'm trying to find myself mainly looting some pillaging. Well, I'm on the Spoonbeak rescue mission. She's an awesome pirate. Well, I sure hope you get lucky. Uh, me too, me too, dude. Where could I find a Spoonbeak? That's a good question. They goofy looking birds. Proud and noble creatures, yes. Used to be all over the island. They did. Haven't seen any recently, though. Hmm, who calls the shots around here? Well, I am the propri proprietor. No, I mean who's in charge of the island. Suppose I'd be Baron Whitebeard. Baron Whitebeard? Uh-huh. You'll know him if you see him. Hmm, Whitebeard, so... Maybe he has big eyes. Or a very thin statue. Statue. That will be it. I want a drink. Oh, yeah. Give me a drink, please. Barman, give me a drink. But I don't, I don't want to spend any money. Well, I'm a dirty pirate. I can steal it, right? You're in a pickle. Hey, maybe Captain Rehab will offer you to buy a drink. Well, I'm a lovely lady, so don't even joke about that Friday. <laughs> Time to set sail. Oh, what drinks do you serve? Well, whole caboodle of buccaneer beverages. Blackbeard's rum, peg leg, Texas medicine, Admiral Nosehair's old unsanitary, poop deck, and... Cat guts. Cat guts sounds delicious. Let me know if you're any run into. Oh, well, well, we can. Let's get cat dogs. Whoa, Nelly. I got the name because of its feeling and bravening qualities. So now cat guts in there. It makes moggies tougher. Gives cats guts. Okay. Of course, it makes. I don't need to ask about that. Hello, Captain Reha Rehab. Let's talk to you. Tell me something I don't know. Hi, hi, fellow sea dog. Mm -hmm. uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being a pirate. Oh. That's laughing. It did really, really sounds weird. Did it be, little miss, not a pirate? Oh, you insulted me so. I'm a pirate just like you. you except clean and prettier. I think that's very sympathetic. Less smelly and without that world very glaze to my eyes. You drooled all over yourself, dude. You aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. Shut up, I'm the fearsome pirate, Nelly Kutalot. I am so piratey I can... Whew. I can splice a main brace in under 15 seconds, drink a barrel of grog in one swig, fart the alphabet, whip up a delicious chip stew, beat an octopus at arm wrestling. Um... Uh, drink a barrel of grog in one swig. I drink two before getting out of my hammock. <laughs> I'm so piratey I can fart the alphabet. I don't even know the alphabet. That's pretty piratey. I'm so piratey I can beat an octopus at arm wrestling. Well, let's arm wrestle right now. Oh, I think I left my ship's headlights on. I'm so piratey I can. Ah, screw this. I don't need to impress you, so let's go away. Uh, what is this up there? Indigo tank card? What's that? Uh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, look, an indigo tank card. Can I take it? 
Cannot pick that up. Hmm, I thought so. So a fish. Well, what about a fish? I wonder if that's a famous Da Vinci code card. The Da Vinci card. Of course it is. Oh, donation box. Donation box for the Rogues Gallery. By the way, if you support the Kickstarter game, your ga face can be in the Rogues Gallery. The Fabulous Rogues Gallery. There need to be a mandatory minimum donation of one dollar. Uh, it's just like Soviet Russia. How? Oh. Well, there's a lot of vodka about. I misread that. So there's the Rogue Gallery, but I cannot go in because I have to make a donation. A mandatory donation, so I actually have to pay a fee. Yeah, anyway. Oh, Crow's Nest. Nice. Okay, where? Let me guess. I move around with the map only. Looks like it. Okay. So, uh, what? Wait. Um, use it. And let's go to the Market Street with over three shops. So we got Bjorn and Olofsson. Uh, we got the Store of Babylon and Hukatak, I think. Can I kind of move over here and I see it? Yeah. Hukatak. And we also... Oh, this one is closed. But there's someone to talk to. That's lovely. Notice board. Ooh. As antisocial as I am, let's go to the notice board and look at it. It's covered in notices. Well, lost peg leg answers to Stumpy. Last seen at the Jones at the Barnacle. Okay, the Baroness. Ooh, let's talk to the Baroness. For whatever reason. Because we're looking for spoon bakes. There she blows. Did you say something? No. Uh, just behind. I am Nelly the Pirate. Who are you? I am the Baroness. My husband is the Baron. We all know all that you can see here. At the moment, you pretty much fill my field of vision. Nelly, behave yourself. Why are you here, freebooter? Uh, looking for trade badger, trying to break into the music industry on a Spoonbeak rescue mission. Well, you have no hope of that. There are no Spoonbeaks on the burning of Meath, but I heard they used to be. No, I don't think so. Uh, what are you doing here? That's a good question. I'm a fabulous wealthy aristocrat. What do you think I'm doing? Making charitable visits to a local to local invalids? No, you dimwit. I'm shopping. Uh, what are you shopping for? I'm shopping for the latest fashions. On an island with three shops, of course. Or I would be bent. Or I would be if this damn store hadn't closed. I hate to think that this outfit might be out of style. No, it looks great. It definitely does. Look ginormous. At least standing next to you will make me look better. Screw you! Screw you. Bitch. As a pirate, imagine you're happy wandering around like a wrecked dishcloth. Well, at least I'm pretty without a fancy dress. As a baron, as I have a responsibility to look stylish. Check you out. <sighs> what do you know about spoonbeaks? What are they? Some kind of boat you? No, they're birds. Big old birds. Big old mysteries, mysteriously vanished birds. Interesting adjectives. Never heard of them. Sorry. Really? They used to live on this island. Young lady, I'm a baroness. Huh. I don't have no time for bird spotting. Yeah, well, I'm gnashing. Oh, how horrible. No, I mean, I'm going. Oh, how marvelous. Hurry now. <laughs> Hook and duck, so I think this one is closed, right? Uh, so come on. Look at it. There's no one there. I don't think the stall is open yet. Okay, let's go into the store of Babylon. Do, do, do. Music is pretty awesome. Let me make that a little bit. No, I cannot make it louder right now. Um, tum, 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 tum. Specimen jars, juju supplies, travel cases, kegs, musical instruments. Oh my god, so much stuff. Uh, today, what today only? Baron Whitebeard. What, what, what standing on there? Let me, ah, damn it, let me have a look. Uh, today only, Baron Whitebeard reads Whitebeard behind the beard. <laughs> uh, the, oh, that's the Baron Whitebeard. Hello, Baron Whitebeard. Oh, hi there, Baron. Hey, Les, are you enjoying the reading? Uh, it's lovely. It's like some horrible ear torture. I'm surprised to meet an aristocrat who can read. Let's go with that. Yes, I've been told my prose is wonderful yet sound you soulful. So, so, uh, um, Sorry. What brings you to my barony? 
I'm spreading murder and mayhem across the high seas. I'm staging, staging a military coup. I'm a no good thief. Well, let's spread murder and mayhem across the high seas. Oh, he doesn't let me start at all. I expect you, the first of my fans, to arrive. Yes, I am your fan. Everyone wants a piece of the Baron. Of course, look at that magnificent beard. Is there anything you want to ask now that you finally met me? How white is your beard? Four metric hogsheads! Four metric hogsheads. That's interesting. It looks like a cactus. I, s I think I see an otter in it. No, you can't. He's waving at me. Go away, you horrible girl. So you are promoting a book? That's right, white beards behind the beard. The life story of me, Baron Ironfoot Whitebeard. Isn't your biography getting awful reviews? Bah! Those book critics, hex can't write. How come? I had your hands cut off. How did you get the name Ironfoot? I have iron feet. Your parents must have been interesting. Hmm, I don't talk about my family. Surely you mentioned them in your autobiography. Of course not, the book's about me, not them. Well, what does it start with? Um, chapter 1. Kids I didn't like at nursery school. Interesting. Well, I've heard enough. Ready to rush off and buy a copy so soon? I forgot the power of my words. I forgot the power of my words. Bye bye, Baron. So, who are you? Uh, I want to talk to you. Ahoy. That's always a good start. Hello, Flower. What are you looking for? I'm Saucy Maritime. Br Ah, these dialogues are great. I'm a saucy maritime wench looking for adventure. I'm a wild-eyed buccaneer looking for fair blood. I'm bargain crazed chopper looking for discounts, of course. Discounts. We we've uh, half of water damaged stockings today only. Oh, what do you sell? Uh, in the store of Babylon, odds and ends, brick and brack, this and that. Exactly. Peanuts? Yes. Shoe horns? No. Piano keys? Yes. Dinosaurs? No. But there's a sale on poisonous lizards. Buy two, get at least poisonous half price. Uh, what of spoon beaks? Uh, I think we have a few plush spoon beaks in the cuddly toy section. No, I'm looking for a real thing. Well, those islands used to be overrun with these things. They used to stroll in here, bold as anything, shedding feathers and upsetting the children. So noble. I've seen. Now it of. What? None of them for a while now. That's a bit odd, don't you reckon? Odd? I sell human brains in three colors. What? What? Why would you do that? Why would you sell... Whatever. <sighs> What's all of the suha about Baron Whitebeard? Good question. Uh, let me turn up the music a little bit for you guys. Yeah, what's it hua about Baron Whitebeard want to know? Oh, the Baron's here doing the reading of his new book. He's really nice. He gets right involved in his reading. Is the book any good? It's an instant bestseller. Impressive. Not really. Beard will ban me from selling any competition. All the other books are over in the freebie basket. Dulu. Bargain bin. So I can get a book, I think. No, uh, yeah. I can get a book for free. That's nice. Chip. Free books. I think I'll have this one. It's a book about birds. Ooh. Uh, let's uh, read it. Or how's it going, book? No, I don't want to talk to it. Um, how to talk to birds? Sounds like a 70s chat up manual. <laughs> That's true, actually. Uh, all about the language of birds. Okay, so that might come in handy. Um, anything I can do? It's uh, I don't want one. I hate to be knocked down by a tugboat and have people find that book on me. That's true. Heads, yeah, cuddly toys. Um, can I take something? The Kut what? Kutania already pretty full of soft toys. Okay, so... Hmm. If I... I don't know. Let's... Hmm, I don't know what you do. Seriously. Um, let's go to another store. I don't know yet what to do. We gotta find the Spoonbeaks, guys. Spoonbeaks! Where are the Spoonbeaks? Brian and Olofsson. Um, I was expecting sound equipment. Um, oh, well, good. Take it. Let's go and ride up if it wasn't for his cold, steely gaze. Let's talk to these guys. All right, Maris. 
Captain Nelly Kutalut at your service. Pleased to be meeting you. Welcome to Bjorn Olofsson. The one stopping shop for all your nautical needs. Our motto is being, you can't be a pirate without B.O. Catchy. Who is Bjorn and who is Olofsson? He's Bjorn and I'm being Olofsson. You haven't ever seen any spoonbeaks? No. But we've, uh, what, we are seldom leaving this shop. So you don't know anything about what's happened to them? I am being very sorry. Tell me how the... Oh, what's new in stock? Oh, so many things. How are the monkey grooming kids? Main brace splicers. <laughs> Nautical memor memor memorabilia. Brass monkey varm... Var what? What is that? The eye hook? Oh my god, they have the eye hook. Half price wash buckles. A range of pirated DV DVDs. Of course they're pirated. A new punished dex web. Wow, tell me about... Holy moly, how many dialogues are in there? I want to know about the eye hook. The eye hook. Oh, the eye hook. A pirate's dream. I've heard some guys cut their hands off just to get one. And not without good cause. A revolution in design it is being, my dear. A lightweight carbon fiber frame with a robust wrist guard. The wrist guard is costing extra. And the best feature is being the magnetic steel tip. Magnetic? No, I will 100 pirates be struggling to collect any area of split paper... What? Sp spilled paper clips. Or to arrange iron filix in their shape of a comical hairstyle. How much is it? 700 dollars. Oh, expenny. Uh, I don't think I need anything of that yet. I've heard enough. Um, tell me about the Baron. Don't be mentioning that man in here, please. He's driving away our customers with anti-pirate legislation and beatings. However, yes. Well, we we're hearing a rumor. Yes, the board. What the board is being? That the Baron has a shady operation going. Oh yes, on Saul Island. Yeah. Okay, turn now. Uh, tattoo stand. Swords. Oh, let's take a sword. Can I? Can I take a sword? It would be lovely. I like would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way, but I can't afford to sort. Oh, that's a shame. I assume I cannot afford anything here, so... Let's go. Wait, how, how do I go? Oh, just like that. That was easy. Okay. So, that we covered... I think we covered everything on the screen, so let's go to the tall booth. Apparently, there's a weird operation going on Soul Island. And I have to... Get past the tall booth or something like that. Yeah, damn it. Interface confuses me a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, this game has, by the way, won several Adventure Game Studio Awards. Because it was so awesome. Uh, and I really like it uh, so far. Uh, where is it? Okay, the tall booth. Anyone wishing to visit Saul Island? Okay, let's go to the tall booth and let's see what we gotta do to pass this barrier. Blind Jimmy Thimble. Hello, Jimmy. Let's talk to him. Hello, Jimmy. Ahoy, matey. Well, well, sweetheart, what can blind Jimmy Thimble do for you? Are you a musician? Oh, nothing so grand. I'm just a fellow with a banjo. I man, the tall booth here. Have you seen any spoonbeaks lately? I ain't seen nothing lately. It's a funny thing, though. Yes? I work here all night and all day. From time to time I hear bird squawks drifting over from yonder island. Uh-huh. Really? From Saul Island? That's right, honey. Hmm. Will you let me pass? Afraid not. I love to help you, girl, but I can't let you through without a gate pass. How can I get a gate pass? Truth be told, Baron Whitebeard is the only son of me who has a pass. One time the tourist was going across all the time. Looking at all the funny little men over there, but about a month ago the Baron withdrew all the gate passes. Ain't that a thing? Why would the Baron be interested in the island? I can't say. People used to say a great treasure was hidden somewhere on the island. Interesting. Perhaps he was looking for it. So Baron has the only gate pass then. Sorry, honey. Please, will you let me pass then? I can do, I need my job. Well, if I got Baron's white beard's pass, then would you open the gate? I guess so, but I don't know if it's safe over there. Don't worry, Mr. Thimble, nothing frightens Nelly. Good hello. Good a lot. So, what's that about funny little man? That's a good, good question. Yeah, I've never seen them. 
Tourists used to love going to see these li those little guys. Then a leper colony sprung up and the tourists stopped coming. A leper colony? Yeah, the Baron used it as reason to take back all the gate passes. And there was another thing. What? I only know what I heard. There's a Juju man in Salt Island. Juju man? A Juju man. I hear he works black magic near an old salt mine. Okay. Bye, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. Sure. Okay. We cannot pass. We need a pass. What's in that box? You should always look in a box before rummaging. That's how most pirates lose their hands. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, look at the box. Excuse me. What's in the box? Them? They're my desert island discs mostly. Blues, a few sea shanties and some heavy rock. What kind of heavy rock? Granite, I think, but I am ge geologists. Uh, geologist. Okay, so we need to find the way over there. I uh, cannot combine those two things. I didn't want to combine them, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's see. What... Okay, how would I get a... Okay, let's go back to the Baron and have a look at what we might have to do to uh, get his gate pass. Maybe I cannot talk to him and ask him for a gate pass. I mean, that's very unlikely, but why not? Yeah, let's talk to him. Hello, Baron. I hear you have the Salt Island gate pass. Yes. You don't feel like uh, lending it to me? The islands are a very dangerous place, girl. You'll stay away from Soul Island if you know what's good for you. But that gate pass is locked safely in Whitebeard Tower, so forget it. Oh, it's in Whitebeard Tower. Hmm, where is your tower, by the way? I won't be helping a stream from me, lassie. Baron Whitebeard is no pool. You mean no fool. Go away. Okay, so where could I find that tower? Ah. Okay, she does. She won't tell me. Toodaloo. Hmm. Okay, wait. Oops. Clicked out of the window. Okay, where might that tower be? Uh, clock face. The thing is not open. Maybe the Baroness will know. Or maybe she can give me the gate pass. I don't think so, but. Um, I wonder where a professional Baroness would reside. Uh, Whitebeard Tower is a dreary, grim little thing. All grey stone and battlements. If we hadn't read that redecorated, I think I would have gone mad. Interesting. I honestly think I'm the first individual with face to lift here. Fascinating. And where is Whitebeard Tower? Oh, it's on the top of that little hill in the middle of the barony. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's open up the map. Yeah, Whitebeard Tower, we discovered a new location. Tombstones, Lone Grave. Let's have a look at a Lone Grave. J. M. Franklin. It has a skull carved on it. Okay, nothing special. Billboard. What's here? World record attempt. This afternoon, Angela Lightfoot will be circumnavigate the globe. It says it's organized by the Baron's Dignified Ladies Association, and after there's going to be a tombola. Oh, lovely. Okay. I don't think I can open that one. Damn, I can't get it open. Shoo. I don't think I can use the shovel. Digging wildly at random rarely uncovers anything. Hmm. Window. Let's climb into the window. I think I can see through that window. Show me. This is foxing it in my crinolines. Too wide for the window. Yeesh. This place makes my eyes ache. Yeah, it really looks disgusting. So we got some art, art, and a fish tank. I can reach in there. I can't reach in there, okay. There's a safe. I believe we need to... Hmm. I, I don't know what, what to do right now. No. Digging won't do the trick. What could we possibly do? We need something to grab the safe or the door or... Even though I couldn't reach it. Yeah, I know. I know. Price tag. Oh. I don't want a price tag for an ugly column. Hmm. The price tag is still on the gaudy pillow. Wow. Baron Whitebeard must be rolling in it. Money, that is. Hmm. 
I don't know what to do right now. I don't think I can do anything. I need to probably need an item of some sort. Hmm. So if I now... Can I dig here? No, I tried it. Okay. Um, is there something I missed? Probably. Four leaf clover. Ooh, I think that's a nice way it is. Take it and it's bring good luck and things. Hmm. Let's have a look. They are all dead white beards. Okay. Hmm. Shield. Chosen fiercely beard man. I guess it's supposed to be Baron Whitebeard. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, wait. I can actually go there. The stairs are roped off. This board says it'll open this afternoon. I don't care. Nelly, go in there. Nelly. Nelly, I tell you to go in there. Ah, Nelly. Don't be like that. Okay, open up the map. Come on. Ah. Okay, is there something else I can... Let's have a look at Market Street again. Or hmm, maybe I should visit the tavern. You know what? I'll take a break now and uh, we will find out what we will do in the next episode of Let's Play Nelly Kutalud. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Weasel. If you liked the video, press the like button or subscribe to my channel. And make sure to check out the Kickstarter campaign. Um, and... Maybe support it, at least watch the trailer, check it out. Looks really awesome. Thanks again for watching. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I see you in the next one. Bye!